Hey, what's going on weavers? Tim here again. And in this episode, we'll be looking at some dragon spikes. And just really quick before we get into it, if you're enjoying the content here and would like to support the channel directly, please feel free to check out the Weavers of Eternity Patreon page for exclusive content and more. In my previous episode, I briefly mentioned these spikes here, and they are a brass marlin spike and Swedish vid made by Rick over at Dragon Spikes. These are some quality handmade knotting tools that really deserve a spot in any serious paracord crafters toolkit. So first off, I wanted to clarify the difference between these two tools and their uses. Now I have mistakenly called this tool a fid in the past, which it's not. It's a lacing needle. I learned that incorrect terminology somewhere, and it wasn't until some viewers corrected me that I learned I was mistaken. This tool here is known as a fid, or in this case, a Swedish fid. A fid is a tool that is used to make space for a thread or cord to travel through. Also, it can be used to splice natural fiber rope, a task often done by sailors who used sailors' fids that were more traditionally made from wood or bone. Now, I'm not versed in that matter, so I won't be speaking too much about it. However, from a paracord crafting perspective, this tool is great for Turks head knots, splicing braided paracord, and also undoing tightened knots. That being said, a lacing needle can be used in the same way a fid can be used to create spacing and a path for a cord to pass through. However, lacing needles tend to work better with loosely tied knots and a Swedish fid can create space in tighter knots as the tool itself is larger and therefore easier for you to grip tightly and work the fid into the knot. As you can see, this Swedish fid is defined by its spiked conical tip, but at the same time it has been hollowed out on one side, creating its unique almost scoop-like shape. This size of Swedish fid would work really well with 550 paracord as well as thinner diameter cords. One of the benefits of using a Swedish fid as well is that if your cord you're working with is getting short at the running end, you can still have mobility with it as a lacing needle can get hard to work with if it's too long. Now getting to the marlin spike, this is yet another rope work tool. And in the past, I've used marlin spikes like this knotter's tool from Jig Pro Shop, which works fine. It does hold my lacing needles as well, but this one does tend to come unscrewed when I'm working with it. So I've now upgraded to this brass marlin spike, which functions just the same, and I tend to use my marlin spike for untying tightened knots and working the slack out of knots and projects. I've adjusted the slack out of diamond knots and worked the slack out of monkey's fists. If I'm not using a spike and I'm just grabbing the cord with my fingers, it can be very tiring and fatiguing, so using a spike allows you to create some leverage to pull up on those cords. So can you use a marlin spike and Swedish fid interchangeably? For some tasks, yes. Because they are similar in shape, there are things that they can both do similarly. But at the same time, there are things that one can do that the other can't. Do you need one of each? Well, that's really up to you and your skill level and where you are at and your paracord crafting hobby. Now looking at these tools more specifically, as I mentioned, these were made and sent to me from Rick over at Dragon Spikes. And in case you can't tell already, he did a great job on these. They are machined out of brass and very nicely finished. You can see his logo here towards the butt end, along with some decorative detailing. What I really like about these spikes are the size and how they feel in hand, as they are the perfect length for paracord work, as you can cup the ball end in your palm and work very comfortably and easily with the spike. I also like the weight of the brass and the heft definitely feels better than an aluminum or steel spike. So overall, very well made machined and finished spikes that have the right dimensions and the right heft to them for me. These dragon spikes get a thumbs up from me for sure. A big thank you to Rick for getting these out to me. If you want to get some dragon spikes of your own, please feel free to contact Rick through his Facebook page. I'll have it linked in the description box down below. So I hope you all found this video useful and informative. That being said, a huge thank you to all my Patreon supporters who make videos like this possible. And for those of you that aren't aware, I do run a Patreon page to help support this channel. For the low price of $3 per month, 
You can get access to exclusive videos as well as our Patreon only Discord server. You can also support this channel by liking the video, commenting, and subscribing. If you enjoyed the content in this video, please feel free to check out what I have to offer on the rest of my channel.